Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Say, have you ever read the story, The Penalty of Command? Well, if you haven't, I'll give you a brief idea what it's about. The main theme of the story is to show the price that a boss has to pay because he's a leader of men. You know, a lot of folks think that a boss has an easy job. Well, it isn't so. The leader has more strain mentally than those who work under him. Sometimes he has to make decisions that he knows will make him unpopular. But it's a right decision and for the good of all concerned. That's what happens in the story, Stumpy Gets 30 Days. Bill and his rangers are moving the most dangerous animals in the world. These are the American bison. Heavy snows have made foraging in the upper pastures almost impossible. Young stock are suffering the most as they flounder shoulder high in the snow. Yes, the rangers have supplemental feeding stations for the buffalo, but the animals also need pasture so they can forage and get exercise. Let's join the fellas as they ride herd on these ornery critters. Bill, Stumpy's getting a pretty bad time from a young bull. Yeah, I've noticed that, pal. I wouldn't worry about it. The old timer can take care of himself. I sure hope so. By the way, that bull keeps charging and worrying Stumpy's horse. I don't know. He's tried to move away from him, but that critter keeps following Oh, he's really got a chip on his shoulder. I'll keep an eye on him. Hey, Gray Wolf and Tom are having trouble with their side of the herd. Let's go. Hey, yo, Stumpy. Come on, boy. Let's get out of here. Think you and Tom can hold him now, Gray Wolf? Ah, we do. Thanks for help. They not try and break away again. I hope not. Keep a close eye on them. They're in an ugly mood. Oh, I watch them close. Hey, Bill, we're stumpy. Huh? Well, I don't know. Should be over on the other side of the herd. I haven't seen him for several minutes. Grey Wolf, take charge of the herd. Let's go find Stumpy, pal. Get your rifle ready. Stumpy's in real trouble. The young buffalo bull finally made a full charge and gored the old-timer's horse. The horse went down, with the old fella being thrown from his saddle. Before he could get up, the bull gored him and then rolled on his chest. Stumpy's horse, Maud, is frantically trying to help her master. Now the bull is getting ready for another charge. The wounded man and horse make a desperate effort to protect themselves as the beast turns and charges at full speed. Then suddenly... you got here. I, Bill, I, uh, he's in bad shape. Uh, yeah, you said it. Henry, ride like the wind to the chuck wagon and call for a helicopter on the radio. Then tell Grey Wolf to stop the herd and bed him down. I'll stay here. Bill, do you think he's... Well, he's hurt pretty bad, huh? Yeah. You standing here doesn't help. Get moving. Yes, sir. Up, best. Come on, girl. Easy does it, boys. Every bone around his chest has been crushed. We're watching ourselves, Bill. Sit him down slowly now and slide the stretcher. There we are. That's good. Okay, fellas, take off. Hey, aren't you coming with us? No, I gotta help the fellas get the buffalo herd under lock and key. We'll get to the hospital as quickly as we can. Get going now. Yes, sir. Yeah, 
Yes, Stone, there goes our old friend. I hope he pulls through this one. He's badly injured. Come on, Storm. Let's join the boys. And we'll have to take it easy, big boy. Old Maud isn't able to run any races. Come on, let's go. Come on, old girl. We'll take you where it's safe and warm. Have the fellas got the gates open, Grey Wolf? Uh, not right, Joe. No. Maybe we hold back now so animals not drive too hard and break fence down. Yeah, pass the word. Uh, I do plenty so. Henry, lay off! Okay, Bill. Hey, what's up? I just told the boys to hold back. The bison can drift through the gates and not crash into the fence. Oh, how long before we can go to the hospital? Right away. Here comes Grey Wolf. Okay, to go now. Tom and boys lock herd inside fence. Everything plenty quiet after animals settle down in new home. Now, that's fine, Grey Wolf. I'll breathe a lot easier now with those ornery rascals locked up. Why didn't you go in the helicopter with Stumpy? We could have handled the herd. I didn't want to take any chances with the buffalo as spooky as they've been. Being short two hands might have caused another accident. One's enough. Well, let's ride for Naughty Pine. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellas. I, I don't know any more than I did an hour ago. Well, we understand, Doc. How long before the crisis? In perhaps an hour, a day, a week. Uh, I can't tell. He's very seriously hurt. That buffalo did an awful job on the old-timer. Uh, we stay here until we know one way or other. Make yourselves comfortable in the room across the hall. It's empty. Thanks, Doc. Uh, Bill. Uh, yes, Doc. By old sound medical reasoning, the old-timer should have cashed in before he got here. Undoubtedly, his clean outdoor life is helping him fight. I I don't know. There are a lot of things about this case I just don't understand. But I think you fellas have been doing a lot of praying for your old friend, right? Yeah, we have. From the moment it happened, we've all been praying one continuous silent prayer. Whatever is thy decision, we shall humbly accept it because your wisdom is perfect. Lord, the plea of our hearts is that Stumpy be healed and return to a normal life. Hear our prayer for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 Almighty God, help our friend. Give him strength to fight and fight to live. God, if you want him to come home, then we obey your wish. But we want that he live. Raise him up if it be your will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Lord, in Jesus' name, we ask that you help the doctors to bring Stumpy out of this. Yes, we've ribbed the old-timer about his age and his jokes and about a lot of things. But really, Lord, we love him. We need his bright and happy outlook on life to lift us up when the going's rough. Please, Lord, if it be thy will, raise him up to be strong and healthy again. Amen. 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 Uh, it's seven hours since we talked to the doc. All they do is run in and out of Stumpy's room with all kinds of gadgets. It must look like a medical supply store in there. But nothing's happened. The old timer doesn't get worse and he doesn't get better. How long is this going on? Take it easy, pal. Seems like only several minutes to the people who are fighting for Stumpy's life. We must be patient. I know it's hard, but we're used to difficult jobs. Yeah, you said it. Hey, here come Doc. Hey, he's smiling. It's all over, huh, Doc? And you won. No, Bill, we won. All of us working together as a team won the battle. Huh? We did all the work with the patient, but you fellas prayed. You 
fellers can't make any uh, corny jokes because I'll climb the wall if I try to laugh. <laughs> He's recovering all right. Right off, his ornery nature sticks out. <laughs> We're very happy to be sitting here talking with you, old friend. Well, you can say that again. Boy, Stumpy, you sure gave us a scare. Ah, uh, you hurt plenty bad. You fellers don't know how happy I am to know I've got real praying friends. Oh, what do you mean? Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes, Sonny. Every once in a while I came to, but I didn't open my eyes. I heard the doctor and nurses whisper about how close to death I was. You fellers ain't fooling me none. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Warms my old ticker to know I got real friends who stick through thick and thin. Uh, but what friends for, Stumpy? Christian friends no good unless they pray for one another. Well, I'll never forget this. Oh, sure. <clears throat> well, our time is up, fellas. Um, we'll see you again tomorrow, Stumpy. Yeah, it'll be fine. So long, right, Stumpy. Goodbye. So long, Stumpy. See ya. Say, Bill. Yes, old timer. How's Maud? What happened to her? Ah, uh, she's all right. The gore she got was only a graze. The impact knocked her down. I've got her resting and taking it easy. It's fine. She's a wonderful horse. She tried to help me by fighting off that old bull. I know, Stumpy. Maud will go on record as one of the great horses of the ranger's service. We won't forget her heroic deed. <laughs> It's good news, Sonny. Well, I'll sleep all right now. Come in, Bill. You want to talk to me about Stumpy, Doc? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, Bill, I, I don't know quite how to say this, but... Well, I'm not satisfied with the old-timer's progress. You know, he's, he, he's healing all right. His chest is slowly correcting the crush it took. But yeah, I understand, Doc. Uh, you mean you're of the same opinion? Mm -hmm. I've noticed for several weeks now. His morale is good, but not aggressive. I agree. He doesn't have a defeatist attitude. I'd, I'd rather call it, well, a... Uh, I don't know just exactly what I would call it, unless it would be to say that he, he acts like a tired old man dreaming about retiring. Mm -hmm. I think you hit the nail right on the head, Doc. He's fighting to get well, but the old spark is gone. Sort of like a patched inner tube that's afraid of another blowout. <laughs> Very aptly put. But how can we get the spark back? I don't know. It's a shame to let it go out or even just smolder. Say, Doc, let me take him home with me. Perhaps some good home cooking and homey surroundings will help him. Stumpy, you're sure getting your old appetite back. Yep, I sure am, sonny. Of course, that ornery varmint had to go and sit on my stomach and flatten it out, but I keep stuffing it best I can. That'll put it back into capacity shape. Especially with Mom's delicious cooking. <laughs> oh, Stumpy. Man, Stumpy, the way you talk, you'd think Mom was the only good cook alive. Here, Bill, have some more meat. Oh, thanks, Henry. I think I will. Say, old-timer, how about walking down to the office with us? Uh, Henry will drive you back. Yeah, how about it, Stumpy? Well, I'd like to, Sonny, but once around the block and a little puttering in the backyard's about all I can handle right now. Bill, what's wrong with Stumpy? I don't know, pal. I wonder the same thing. He act like old man, tired old man. Yeah, that's about it. If his morale is high, he isn't sour about his accident. He just acts plain tired. He not old timer we once know. Stumpy never let age make him old. He always young in mind and heart. Yeah, you're right. You fellas go on into the office. I'm going to stop in here and see the doc. Okay, Bill. Let us know what he says. I will. See you in an hour or so. Hello, Bill. How's our old friend? That's what I came to see you about, Doc. You busy? Nope. Be right there. 
Yeah, didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, that's the life of a doctor. <laughs> Guess you've lost many a night's sleep, too, huh, Bill? Yeah, lots of... Stumpy isn't making much progress, is he? Other than recovery. No, I'm afraid not. Doc, are you sure he's physically all right? Yes, yes. I, I've x-rayed him from head to foot. He needs getting several different shots to build up his general health. Takes enough pills to choke a cow. He's doing fine. But will he completely recover with his mental attitude the way it is? Well, that's hard to say. In my opinion that he won't. He'll baby himself, and well, that's not what I want. He's got to stretch his muscles, put in some hard work, repair the damage done to them. I don't mean he should climb a mountain first thing in the morning, but it eventually should come to that. Bill, his full recovery depends on proper exercise and circulatory stimulation. The stimulation given with liver and iron shots doesn't take the place of the real thing. Well, then moderate exercise increasing to hard work won't hurt him, huh? It'll do him a world of good. If he doesn't, he'll be an invalid the rest of his life. He has to be willing to feel his pulse pounding in his blood vessels. Well, I'll keep trying. Maybe in a few weeks he'll change his mind. Well, I hope so. If he doesn't, you'd better buy him a nice rocking chair. Have you got more papers to file, Bill? Uh, yes, pal. Uh, here's a fistful. That ought to do it. Sure appreciate your help. <laughs> well, that's okay. I get a kick out of filing papers, especially when I have to look for them again when they're filed in the wrong folder. Ah, well, there we are. That's finished. Well, what are you working so hard at? You've been writing out half a dozen forms there. Oh, hello, Gray Wolf. Everything all right out in the barn? Uh, horses have enough food and water for the rest of day now. Well, I'm glad you're here, Gray Wolf, because I have something to tell both of you before I tell Stumpy. Oh, what is it, Bill? Uh, that sound important. It is. Henry, you wanted to know why I've been so busy with these papers. Yeah, I was just curious. These are Stumpy's retirement papers. <laughs> You're joking. Am I? I've worked on them for three hours. Call that a joke? But, but why? I ask the same question, Bill. Why? Why? That's obvious, isn't it? He's a tired old man and no longer of any use to the Forest Service. You mean you're going to put him out to pasture just like that? No warning? No chance to recover? Just throw him out? If he can snap out of it by the time the papers come back from Washington, I can stop his retirement. How long that be? 30 days. That sounds like a jail sentence. This will kill the old-timer. I suppose you think this is a barrel of fun for me. You tell old-timer soon? Yes, I'm going home now and tell him. Stumpy, I wish somebody else could tell you this, but... I have to because I'm your boss. These papers I have in my hand... What kind of legal papers are those, honey? They're your retirement papers, Stumpy. I know you won't believe me when I tell you I'm your friend. And I'm sorry it has to be this way. So, you're putting me out to pasture just like an old horse, huh? Papers won't be back for 30 days. My signature clinches your career. If you can improve yourself by the time the papers return, I won't sign them. You figure I'm a tired old man and I ain't going to get well, eh? I don't know the answer to that, Stumpy. You're the only one who does. Is that right? Well, young fella, I'll show you that you can't throw me out of the Forest Service... In 30 days, I'll be running road races up to the tops of the mountains. What do you think I am, some old billy goat that can't eat tin cans anymore? You give me 30 days just like a judge, and I'll make you eat those papers. Henry, Grey Wolf, I don't want to argue about Stumpy. The die is cast, and that's the way it's going to stay. Bill, I heard you pray for Stumpy to get well. 
I heard you pleaded with the Lord for his recovery. Why? So you could throw him out like an old coat? Maybe it would have been better if he died. At least you would have had the pleasure of breaking his heart. Henry, you're talking out of line. Is that so? Well, I've got plenty to say, and I'm going to say it right here and now. Why do you have to throw the old timer out? Can't you keep him around and give him easy jobs? Bill, you're killing him by inches, and I think it's a dirty trick. Uh, I agree with Henry. All men work hard many years and his faithful friend. And that not mean anything to you? Why, you not let Buffalo beat your chest flat and stick horn into stomach. Then we see how fast you recover. Fine reward, old friend, get. Bill, you wrong. All wrong. I've been wrong before, Grey Wolf. But my decision still goes until I'm proved wrong. Hey, what are you fellas doing here? You're not off duty. Well, the forest ain't gonna burn down with all the snow out there. That's beside the point. You're not off duty. Now, we're taking time off to tell you we think Stumpy's getting a dirty deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah it sure is. What's gotten into you, Bill? You just can't give the old timer the boot like this. Yeah, Tom, right. Paul, the rest of you, listen to me. I'm giving Stumpy a fair chance. Also, I'm actually doing him a favor. He's not fit for active duty. According to regulations, he can't retire for two years. But he'll get full retirement pay. You won't have to pay it to him long. He'll die of a broken heart. You know the Forest Service is his whole life. Everything. It's a cheap trick, Bill. A cheap trick. All your words and arguments won't change my mind. I'm still the boss here, and what I say goes. Come on, fellas, you can't talk to him. That's right. yeah, I think on. I'll put in for a transfer. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. See ya. Grey Wolf? I've got an idea how we can beat Bill at his own game. Oh, that good. I have idea, too. We put heads together. Let's move Stumpy back to his own house. Then you and I will take turns helping him get back on his feet. The other fellows will help, too. Oh, that's plenty of good idea. And now I tell you a secret. Huh? I have same idea. So I make phone call to doctor. He say old friend can take all the exercise he can get. A little at first, and then more. Doc say it only way old timer get back on feet. You think it's a good idea? Mm, it only way to help Stumpy. Wonderful. Let's get started then. Thirty days isn't a very long time, unless you're sitting it out in jail. Take it easy, Sonny. This old body ain't what it used to be. Uh, you haven't got an old body. The doc says your body's doing fine. All it needs is lots of muscle-stretching exercises. Come on, let's do three blocks today. Okay. I can take the three going all right, but I don't know about the three coming back. Oh, you'll make it all right. If you can't, I'll carry you. (laughs) It'd be like a cold carrying an old horse. (laughs) You do half-mile walk plenty good now. We try three-quarter mile today. (laughs) A few weeks ago, I could do three-quarters of a mile on a dead run. No, I'm not sure I can do it on a slow walk. Oh, you stretch muscles plenty good, and they get strong and healthy. Yeah, but if I stretch them too much, they'll snap like rubber bands. Hey, Paul, where's the fire? Breathe deeper, Stumpy. You gotta push your ribs back out where they belong. Okay, but I don't want the air pump to blow a gasket. You're doing the mile walk in fine shape, old timer. Yeah. Pretty soon I'll be ready to race Bill up the nearest mountain. <laughs> Henry, get the doc. I got a terrible pain in my chest. <sighs> Don't waste your time on me, fellas. I'm just an old fossil. Nonsense. The doc says all you had was a muscle spasm in your chest muscles. Here, these hot packs will straighten it out quick as a bunny. I'm beginning to think Bill's right, just like he always is. Stumpy, you not talk like that. Discouragement is Satan's best weapon. I know, but what's the use of avoiding the facts? My bag of bones just can't take it anymore. Come in. Oh, Mr. Stewart. How are you, sir? Just fine, Henry. Uh, hello, Stumpy, Grey Wolf. Good to meet you, sir. Howdy. Stumpy had a Charlie horse in his chest muscle. 
That's why we're baking him in hot towels. He'll be all right shortly. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. For a moment, I, uh, I thought my trip was wasted. Huh? What do you mean by that, Mr. Stewart? Well, Stumpy, I've uh, heard the news about your retiring from the ranger service, and, uh, well, I want you to come and work for me as chief ranger. I got a lot of private forest that, uh, well, needs expert care. You can name your own price, Stumpy. I want your experience and knowledge to protect the thousands of dollars I got tied up in trees. You ain't joking, are you, Mr. Stewart? Oh, I don't joke about things like this. What do you say? Well, I don't know what to say. I'm sure tempted. Give me a week to think it over. By that time, my 30 days will be up. You do fine, Stumpy. We walk three miles at almost double time. Yeah, I'm kind of pleased with myself. You keep wind good after you run block. I think you make fine recovery. Thanks, Sonny. Hey, here comes Henry like a bunny with a burr in his toes. I wonder what's up. Well, we know plenty quick. Boy, boy, am I glad I found you guys. What's up, Sonny? A big brown envelope just came in the mail for Bill. It's from Washington. And this is the 29th day. Well, now's the time for a showdown. Let's go. I'm ready. Well, hello, fellas. Hey, Stumpy, you're looking fine. Never mind the hogwash. Tomorrow's the 30th day, and that's why I'm here. You're still going to throw me out of the Forest Service? Well, what's the big grin for? Yeah, I don't see anything funny about this. Stumpy, you're not going to be retired. Huh? The papers are still here in my desk drawer where I put them after I talk to you. Here, take a look. Uh, but... But what was in the big brown envelope? Just a supply of new reports. While you're catching your breath, let me explain. Regulations say that when a man Stumpy's age is disabled 90 days or longer, he must be retired for safety reasons. I didn't want this to happen, but I knew if I extended sympathy, it would happen, because you were hurt pretty bad. So I had to put the old fighting spirit back into you, old friend. The doctor gave up, but I didn't. Well, I'll be a horn-toed polecat. How'd you know I could get fit as a fiddle in 30 days? You're a ranger, aren't you? Oh, boy, that was a rough one. Bill sure knows how to handle his men. Yes, sir, even after they've been gored and rolled on by a buffalo bull. See you next week for more adventure with Ranger!